Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. And Marianne behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food and Sis. Today we are making some blueberry muffins. Sounds good. And you know why we're doing blueberries? Because they're in season in they, Michigan. They are in season in Michigan. As a matter of fact, tell our food friends what we had for lunch today. We had... Fresh sweet corn. That's right. So um, we are in Michigan. The harvest is coming in, and we are living on blueberries, sweet corn, and tomatoes. How's that sound? <laughs> All good things. Um, and so we have a abundance of blueberries from the local farms here in the thumb. That's the part of Michigan we're in. And uh, they're sweet and plump and yummy. And uh, we're putting them in everything. And so, you know, I look, Mayor, I've done a lot of blueberry things on Cavalcade of food over the years. Blueberry flan, blueberry cornbread, which is a favorite. Um, blueberry breakfast cake. Uh, blueberry sauce. But I don't know that we've done muffins. So we're doing them, right? Right. Now, these are, I would say, these are blueberry muffins uh, with a streusel topping. Yeah, you like the streusel, Fräulein? Yes, yeah. I like yeah. the streusel. So you can have streusel or not. But, you know, given the choice, why wouldn't you want streusel on your muffins? So if you want streusel... Do the streusel part first. Here's what I got, Mayor. Two tablespoons of cold butter in this bowl, okay? okay? I'm going to add to that two tablespoons of brown sugar and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's going in. And then I've got a quarter cup of just regular all-purpose flour, okay? And we're going to kind of... I'm going to use a pastry blender... And I'm going to just put, if the butter is warm and soft, this kind of won't work. You need the butter cold for this because it's like making, um, you know, when you make pie crust, Mayor, you yeah. got to have your shortening, whatever it is, whether you're using butter or lard or Crisco, you got to have it cold so that it will cut in properly because you want to get it into small little pieces. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just keep doing this. You could do this with your fingers. You could do this with a couple of knives if you wanted to. But basically, we're going to make a little crumble here. And when the muffins are, before they're done, I mean before we put them in the oven, I should say, we're going to sprinkle each muffin with a couple of teaspoons of the streusel mix. You know, the butter will melt, and it will mix with the flour and the brown sugar. Um, and it almost gives like a little crust uh, to it. You see how it's coming along yeah. here? That's what you want, just like that. Okay. Uh, so it should be sort of sandy and, all right, like that. Okay. Yep, nice, good enough. All right, so we're just gonna put the streusel over here. Now, well, there's a piece of butter, we don't want that. Get yourself a large mixing bowl. And in the mixing bowl, put in a cup of milk, should be room temperature, okay? Get yourself one egg, also at room temp. It's been sitting out for, oh, a good half hour. A quarter cup of vegetable oil. And then one teaspoon of vanilla. Thank you. 
Then you can either use a spoon or a whisk or an old fashioned egg beater. You got one of these, use one of these. And you're going to beat all that together. The, the nice thing about muffins and a lot, most of kind of what we would call a quick bread, um, they don't really require uh, a mixer, you know, like a hand mixer, electric yeah. mixer. And actually, when you're making the batter, you really don't want to overbeat it anyways. So, okay, so there's our liquid ingredients. Now, over here we've got our dry. I have got two cups of all-purpose flour there. To that, I'm going to add one half cup of sugar. And then I'm going to add baking powder. Now this is what you need in order to get these um, muffins to rise up. And we want three tables, or tea, I'm sorry, three teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, three. A little bit stuck there. Okay. Then a little bit of salt. Um, I think, what do I need here? Uh, Half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, then let's just mix all that together. Okay, get it all in there. Okay, now take this whole thing all at once and dump it in, all of it. Now, I'm going to use a spatula, and what we want to do is we want to mix this up until it's just moistened, okay? This is where we want to be careful, sis, not to overbeat. Nobody wants a tough muffin, do they? No, they don't. That's what I thought. So, we're going to, see, it's going to be lumpy. And that's okay. Muffin batter should be. But we just want to make sure that there's no dry flour. Okay? Okay. Then last but not least, you can't have blueberry muffins without... Blueberries. Look at, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. All right. I'm not going to eat any more. Whoop. We're going to put a cup of blueberries in here. Now, this is just going to get folded. Okay? Gently. We don't want to break the blueberries. Right? All right. We just want to get them kind of distributed through the batter. All right. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Streusel topping. Who's the nice person who lined these muffin tins for me? I did. Thank you. Now, if you didn't have, if I like to use these little paper parchment paper liners. If you don't have those, just make sure you spray uh, and grease the the muffin tin the tins. Uh, this will make a dozen sort of what I call standard sized muffins or, you know, in a cup, a, cup, what a, a cupcake. These aren't the big jumbo. If you wanted to make the big muffins, um, uh, like the ones they sell in the stores, I think you'd only probably get about six out of this recipe. But, all right, let me clear the area here, Mir, and then we will fill our muffin cups and put on our streusel. All right, Mir. So we're going to start filling our cups here. You don't want to go all the way up to the top, but they should be fairly full. Mm. 
because you kind of want to have the same amount in every one, right? Right. So they're all relatively the same size, or otherwise you know what you get. You get cheated. Oh, hers was bigger than mine. And then we have to have those discussions, which I don't like having. So we'll try to make them all the same so that everybody gets the same. You can always tweak a little bit once we get all these filled. Look at those berries. Some might have more blueberries than others, but you know what? That's life. Sometimes you get a little and sometimes you get a lot. All right. We'll keep filling here. So we are fortunate to be in an area that's fairly agricultural. So there are farms galore um, with sweet corn and blueberries, um, tomatoes, and other produce. Uh, we love that. All right. Of course, you can even pick your own blueberries if you want, which I only do if it's not a really hot day. Blueberries require a lot of sun, so when you're at the blueberry farm, well, most farms for that matter, there's no shade, and it gets hot, doesn't it, Mayor? Yes, it does. So if it's a cool day or an overcast day, it's pretty good for picking blueberries. All right, I think that's, I'm happy with that. Let me wash my hands real quick because they're gooey. And, you know, blueberry muffins, of course, are great for breakfast. But there's no rule about having them with a salad or for dinner, right? Right. So I'm going to start with putting about two teaspoons of streusel, just like this, Mayor, on top of each muffin. I'm going to kind of get the top covered as evenly as you can. We're going to use all the streusel. So let me, let me finish this, and then we'll come back real quick and get these in the oven. All right. I'm just taking some of this where I dripped off. It'll make the pans a little easier to clean. It's not the end of the world. Okay. So, let me make sure we are, yep, um, I'm going to move this oven rack to the center. There we go. Put your oven rack in the center. And, again, we're at 400. 20 to 25 minutes. So we'll go 20 minutes and then we'll kind of take a look at it, see how it's doing. So Mayor, our timer went off. Eh, it's been about, what, 21, 22 minutes? And, ooh, they look good. Look at that. Yeah. I'm gonna just, yep, they're good. A little toothpick test. 
you can see how they're just golden on the top and those blueberries of course bursted uh, which they do because they're filled with water and when they get hot that, that juice just breaks uh, breaks through but that's okay puts that blueberry goodness through the whole muffin so I'm gonna let these sit in the tins here for oh maybe about five minutes ten minutes okay mm -hmm. then I'm going to take them out of the tins and put them just on these cooling racks they're really hot right now so I'm just gonna let it cool down a little bit before I try to to get them out you may have to use a little paring knife around some of the edges uh, where that juice see like here Mare? yeah where it boiled over, but they'll come out. They're in those cups, so there's no problem there. Um, but uh, we don't want to leave them in the tins too long because they'll keep baking in there because these tins are hot. So we'll come back uh, after uh, they've cooled off. Um, they smell good. And look at that streusel top. Um, they smell great and we will give them a taste test. Well, I'll tell you what, we let them cool a good, oh, about a half an hour. They're slightly warm, but let's just, let's take a look at those beauties. Is that a, if that isn't a sight, I don't know what is, hon. You get the little bit of the cinnamon smell from that streusel, yeah. So let's peel these back. Still a little warm, so it's sticking. Okay. Now, we're going to open one. Look at that. Look at all that blueberry goodness. Now, of course, the muffin is great, but you know how you gild the lily here? A little bit of butter. Mm. What can we say? Wow. The streusel topping gives a nice crunch. They're moist. You get that nice blueberry flavor mixed with the sweetness. Ooh, we're going to like these, aren't we, Mayor? Yes, we will. So, you know what? If blueberries are in season where you are, first of all, they're really good for you. But now's the time to enjoy fresh blueberries because um, the season is short. So, actually, tomorrow I'm going to go get some more. Um, because I want to get in as much blueberry goodness as I can. So, um, I want to say thank you to my sister. You're welcome. For working the camera. And we want to thank our food friends, Mayor, for watching. Don't forget the website, cavalcadafood.com. And the recipe is below the video, as always. Hope you get a chance to make these. And you know what? We'll look forward to seeing you again real soon, right back here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everybody. Bye.